Happy hello, everyone! In a perfect world, beauty would only be in the eye of the beholder, and we would all be judged for our real beauty on the inside. <coughs> Unfortunately, that world has probably never existed, and thanks to the fashion industry, the importance of good looks has never seemed higher. <coughs> our culture pushes the idea that beauty equals happiness, and as shallow as it might sound, there is some truth to that. But not for the reasons you might guess. Huh? My name is Ryan Wingfield, and my job is to make people happy. After years of doing stand-up comedy, I've devoted an entire year to the study of happiness. Join me each week right here on A Road Comics Road to Happiness. Let's just get this out of the way. Good-looking people are happier. What? You don't have to be handsome to be happy, but it helps. Researchers at the University of Texas found that those considered among the most attractive were on average 10% happier than those considered among the least attractive. However, researchers believe that that happiness doesn't come directly from good looks alone, but rather from the doors that a pretty face can open for you. Good-looking people will get more attention from teachers, are more likely to be hired from jobs, will earn 5% more money over the course of their lifetime, and are more likely to find a spouse. As you might guess, appearance has a bigger impact on women than it does on men, mostly because women are more likely to have what psychologists call appearance cognitant self-worth. <gasps> Don't look at me, blame thousands of years of gender roles and sexism. Women are also more likely to have a double-edged sword with their beauty, with what some people call the bimbo effect. Again, not me, it's them. Particularly in the workplace, attractive women are considered less competent, less talented, less loyal, and thus less likely to be chosen for leadership positions. In contrast, attractive men are considered more competent, which explains why when a new male CEO is hired, the company stock will go up or down depending on how good looking he is. While the opinion of others can affect your mood, what really matters is what you think of yourself. A 2014 survey found that body image was one of the biggest indicators of overall life satisfaction, second only to financial satisfaction and romantic satisfaction. A lack of self-confidence can lead to a downward spiral of negative emotions, including fears that a spouse could leave you. I'd like to say it's not true, but let's face it, ladies, some men are pigs. Hey. Makeup and plastic surgery can have minimal impacts on your happiness. One study even showed that Botox can temporarily improve your happiness by making it impossible to frown. Overall, though, you're better off building up your self-confidence. One way that you can do that is by embracing your flaws. Studies have shown that a man's hair is the first thing that women notice about him, and as such, when most men start losing their hair, myself included, we tend to get a little stressed about it. Oh, no. However, studies have shown that once men embrace their baldness, such as shaving their head, I haven't gotten there yet, their confidence and self-worth go up. So our takeaway is that even if beauty isn't in the eye of the beholder, happiness is. Learn to love you for you and the happiness will follow. And if you can't wrap your head around the idea that bald is beautiful, then you can always wear a hat. That's all for this edition of A Road Comics Road to Happiness. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any happy comments below. Next week, science proves what men have known for millennia. Beer makes you happy. Unfortunately, there's a catch. I'll tell you what it is in the next episode. Until then, stay happy.